What's going on guys? Welcome to the best graphic settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now just a disclaimer before this video starts, all graphics are subject to change. Now this game is a very very intensive game on graphics and I've really struggled to get these settings to work at least 30 to 60 frames per second. Bear in mind if you check the description I have a 1080 Ti, I've got an i7-800X uh, and I've also got 64, I think 32 gigabytes of RAM and quite a decent PC you'd say so yourself. Uh, I play most games at 60 FPS or above. I play Call of Duty at 240 FPS. But for some reason this game will not get above uh, 40 to 50 I average. So I've gone through the settings. Uh, I've tried to find the best that I can get. I've got VSync on on this as well. So we're only capped at 60 frames because this game doesn't pick up my 240 frames monitor. Which is really weird. But straight to the video all these are subject to change so these are the best settings for um, PCs on my sort of level uh, and also it can be downgraded and obviously people upgrade as well I found out the balance for best settings best visual and best performance wise anyway straight into it so display mode full screen obviously this game do not play in windowed it's just ridiculously bad okay Obviously your resolution, your global render quality is going to be in custom because you're going to do it yourself. VSync have this on. Now I find this helps a lot to keep the frames up to what you want them at. Uh, I don't really get to 60 FPS, but I say 50 is playable and it is really playable if you want to use these settings. If you don't, just go low on everything, but you're not experiencing the game for the visuals then. You're only experiencing the game to fly. But that, if that's what you want, that's what you want. Anyway, render scaling, 100 obviously. Anti-aliasing, have this on DLAA. You have it on TAA, you lose 20 frames at least. 20 frames at least if you play if you play on a TAA. It says even here, look, highest quality, the highest cost. So obviously you want this on DLA. That's the in-between ground. You don't want it any lower because it just looks like crap. Um, terrain level of detail, just keep that on 100. Terrain vector data, have that on high. The buildings, this is personal preference. If you guys want to see the buildings and your main focus for this game is to fly around Burj Khalifa, fly around pa Paris, um, then have this on high. Uh, but if your main goal is to obviously fly from airport to airport, you don't really care about the buildings that high because you're going to be stuck at 30,000 feet, then uh, feel free to put this down to medium, even low if you don't really care about uh, buildings same with trees and grass to be fair i have this on medium because i want to see the balance between you know the the graphics and the performance of the game hopefully i don't know whether this is badly optimized or that the game is just so demanding that you won't be able to play um at high detail unless you've got like the most insane pc ever uh, i'm not too sure what it plays like on xbox or anything like that or how it's going to play on the new xbox but for me i've put these two or these three on medium uh just to keep it you know in between um them two values of low and high objects level of detail have that on 100 uh, volumetric clouds like i said you're going to be spending a lot of time in the air and if you are you want this on high so it looks the best i love what it looks like when you're like 30,000 feet you're cruising you've got a bit of cloud underneath you it looks really cool texture resolution have this on high you don't really want to change any of these things uh anastropic filtering you have this on eight times texture sampling have that on four times four uh texture set synthesis no, I ain't even going to attempt that. I ain't even going to attempt it. Have that on high, guys. I, I can't say that word. Forget it. <laughs> uh, if you can say that word, make sure you comment down below and just take the mic at me. Uh, don't bully me, though. Uh, water waves. Have that on medium. You don't really spend much time down at water level. Um, so uh, unless you're going to land on the water, then be, be my guest. Have this on high. Um, but highly doubt you're going to do a Hudson River or land in a lake or anything like that. Um, but if you do... Feel free to have this on high, or if you know you're going to do it, just change the setting to high just before you're about to do it, or maybe when you're about to do it, um, or you know that you're going to uh, go on a flight to land in the water, turn it on high so you get that amazing graphics. Uh, or you could change all these around anyway, guys. Anyway, shadow maps, uh, 1240, uh, wait, what? Yeah, no, 1024. Uh, terrain shadows, have this on 512. Contact shadows have this on high. You want these on. It just looks weird if you've got no clouds 
uh, shadows on the floor, but you've got clouds in the sky. It just looks strange. Windshield effect. I've turned this down. Um, you can have this off completely if you don't like the rain hitting against the windshield, or you can have this on high if you enjoy that sort of quality. But for me, it doesn't really matter, and it does take a bit of a, for a performance off, uh, you know, off your GPU. So uh, definitely have this on medium, guys. Ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion have this on high reflections definitely have this on high no shadow of a doubt if you want to see that plane in that gorgeous shine off the paintwork then feel free to have that reflections on high light shafts have turned mine down to medium it's kind of annoying when you're flying towards the sun and uh, you can't basically can't see anything um but definitely have that on uh, medium um this as well this is another thing with the uh, sun or any lights in fact uh I have mine on. You can turn it off if you guys want. Depth of field, have it on high. Uh, lens correction, have that on off. And lens flare, have that on. Um, Utrin it generic, play models, uh, have that on as well. And multiplayer, I don't really play the multiplayer at the moment, but we will be doing. Um, I have mine off for now, but we might put that on. Depends on what goes on, let's say. Uh, anything else really camera everything else in this whole area i would say is your personal preference so if you guys want to use and want to change any of these things around you can do uh, if you guys are watching this far thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and this video has helped you out if it has leave a comment down below of your computer specs so that people can come in here and tell me if these um, specs work if they don't work for you i'm very sorry uh, if you want you guys want to comment what you've done with them specs uh with my sorry with my settings feel free to comment down below which ones you've chose for your pc and i'll pin your comment if your comment uh, is suitable and helps people out anyway thank you for watching subscribe to the channel like this video and uh, there'll be more flight simulator videos on the channel thank you and see you later so if you're having issues with graphic settings and fps loss please please make sure if you have a nvidia graphics card i don't know about amd you right click your desktop you click the video control panel you go down to manage 3d settings when you'll be on here you'll see global settings you want to click program settings you want to go to select program to customize use and choose the program that you're running if you experience issues in any programs just add them to this list here as you can see i've got obs studios couch drive epic games FIFA 20 etc to add games you go here press add you either find them on this here or go to browse folder and find where your uh, games are saved so mine is saved in common and I can go to arc find the engine or uh, the exe for the game and uh, you will be basically one step ahead of the game and your graphics card will then make sure that device is seen this is mainly for like Minecraft or No Man's Sky or Things like that, uh, if you're experiencing any issues, just make sure you do this first.